Hello and welcome dear viewers, um, my name is Sergio and I'm here with Felix and Tom. Hello guys. Please die, again, and again, and this... also again. Let Tom say hello too. Tom, no Hello, sorry. No, sh louder, say hello louder. Hello! Good, that was too loud. This is the beginning of an adventure, guys. An adventure that was a... <laughs> Why oh, do you oh, hate oh, FPS? Sergio. Sergio, Add seriously. all the AIs. No, don't the, these are the three main ones from the old game. It doesn't Heron, matter, Dringen, I don't Altair. know the old game. Tom, <sighs> just don't make a good, balanced game which has a good environment to learn. Look, it. it's large, Maybe. not huge. Therefore, Look, it supports someone joined, six empire. Him. No one... Oh, f and add more AIs. I want this to be a battle. You know what? Fuck it. Just so, just so Felix has his old enemy to fight against. There's the Iconians, but I'm not adding the the Kryn. They're just irritating. Just add a fifth faction. We, we look. We have enough people. We have three of us, four AIs. We have add seven the people. Talon contingency now. Sergio, I am the Talon contingency. <laughs> Oh. Sergio, he knows the he, Sergio, he knows the game so much better than you. He has so much more experience in it, and so maybe you should yeah, trust that's him why that he knows that he knows what makes a good game. Don't forget, we are we need to learn that game before that. I've only I've spent thirty minutes in it. Five hundred hours of okay, Gutting Civilizations we'll two and seventeen hours of this. All right. I wish I had my dad here. My dad's like the guru of this. <laughs> I am ready. So, right, let's, yeah, let's let me say something to the viewers. Guys, are you ready for an adventure? <laughs> okay, we can start. Why are you I waiting for a response? Because we're going to be here. Why do I because feel that this, this is video the beginning was... of an adventure? Yeah, and we will totally fail because we have only 30 minutes of experience in a 4X Fine. strategy yep. game like that. You yep. have 30 <laughs> minutes of experience. I have one hour. I have 17! We so. have, we have Tom, Felix. We have Tom, but Tom might just decide to kill you both. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't declare war on me. Oh yeah, that's true. Damn. At least just you could. You but I can declare war to others, right? Yes. Yes. You oh. Can. Mwah. I think you can. I've never I played the it. Iridium. I never played the Iridium just because I wanted to fight the AI, not just wait to. Just be. Just for your information. We've now spent around half an hour for discussion. That means I have only one hour left. I don't care. The Reading Corporation is the apex corporate entity of an ultra capitalistic society, the only organization capable of entering into contracts on behalf of the entire Reading people. Nice. Strengths and I... weaknesses. So, Iridium are excellent at research and development. This is exactly my type and quick to maximize the economic potential of any new discovery. Okay. Now, the disadvantage with the Iridium is that I think they're infertile, which means they, they don't. They don't like sex. They don't, they don't like it. Which means you don't. When, so in the early like game, Felix. expansion for you is slow. I think it's Felix's turn to start. Uh, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, so you should have three ships. You should have a scout, a survey ship, and a colony ship. Yep. Yep. Right. So the survey ship, if 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 you zoom out just to the point where it becomes icons rather than images, mm. there should be little things that look like an atom symbol around called anomalies, and they'll be like called things like artifacts and ship graveyards and space. Yep. Where do you so see your which your is survey which? ship oh, oh, is okay. used to pick up those, and they give you bonuses. So it could be cash. It, it, it's like exploration in endless space. Uh, is what I'm going to compare it to. Okay. So for example, I can take space junk with it. Yes. And when I uh, and I need to with the design the ship. yes with the survey ship. And I need to design a construction probe, for example, so that I can build star bases near resource deposits like Illyrium and Durantium. Yes, but you should already have a basic construction model for available. For uh, that. nope, that is the thing. Hmm. But don't worry, I already designed one in the previous games. Right, so the scouts... At the, moment I can, at the moment I can only build scouts, surveyors, and seed ships, so colony ships. And that is a... so there there are no construction probes in it. Okay. 
it's, it's fine as long as you built one. And then your other ships should be a scout, which is just like a pretty quick, long distance scanning ship. It just searches for things. And then a colony ship, which you can probably guess. Now, I usually don't go for any planets that are below a nine for my first colony. I don't bother with them. You don't bother what? with what? Like, it, all right, so if you hover over a planet, it'll have a class. So class yes. eight is Earth-like, class 15 is a paradise and blah, 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 blah. Um, but the, there are worlds that are like class five, there might be one near you, like a class six or something. I just don't bother with them. They're not, they're not worth it, at least not in the early game. It just, it hampers you so much in what you can do. And the colony ships aren't cheap. Okay, okay, I understand. So I should go with class what? I go for eight or nine or above. So there's a nine, there's an eight near me, which looks okay, but I probably will look for a better one. And when you build your, in your planet, on your planet, what should you start with? So I usually start by building uh, three basic factories next to each other so they get the adjacency bonus. And then in the Govan planet screen, I shove everything into manufacturing. Well, What not, the hell did well. you say, Tom? <laughs> what? Right, I build three basic factories. Okay. In a in in like a triangle, so they get an adjacency bonus to each other. And then on Govan Planet, I don't bother with money. I just put everything into a split between manufacturing and research, so it builds them quicker. So only factories and research laboratories on the main planet. Well, you, there are wonders later on and stuff that you should maybe save space for. I mean, a consulate might be good. It depends what's on your planet as well, because mine has a xanthium deposit, which gives me plus two to military. So I might start, I might really up the production, put a few military things on and make my home planet a capital ship production facility later on. Damn. Look, I have, um, so I have uh, all these rectangular shapes and some, I mean, two of them have something, have a sign on them. So one is wasteland. This desolate area is barely usable and perfect for blowing this thing up blowing things up and cata cataracts massive falls provide almost free energy for manufacturing or research so i should build a factory on yeah this you should build a factory on that yeah and you're telling me now how do i what? remove how do i remove uh, just double click it to remove it it's not working uh, right click it i will click cancel bro okay <laughs> It's so, been a while how is uh, our Felix doing? Felix has done his turn. Yep. Whose turn is now? Yours. Mine? Look at the top left, it's yours. Oh, Felix, your plum planet's got rings, that's so cute. <laughs> and it's purple. I like purple. And Sergio's is, like, gold. What? Gold? Your plum planet, and mine's just a normal planet. God damn it, Thalia. How do you see that, bro? Uh, if you zoom out, you can see everyone's starting positions for some reason. So there's Earth over there. You can just about see Africa and Great Britain. Drengi. Altera. Uh, what's up here? New Iconia and Old Iconia, um, which Felix has. Or just Iconia, you know? Send on colonial planetary soil of grain. Well, I cannot see your starting position. So, at, at can research not? is... Nope. Uh, so, I guess those are faction for? traits. Felix, let me oh, talk with the faction. master. Might be faction trait. Master. I have my idea, you just read the effects and decide. Yes, yes, apprentice Sergio, what do you want? <laughs> my dear master, what should I research? Engineering, <sighs> expansion, warfare, economics. Economics? Right. I always go for... God, where is it? It's got industrial adaptation, just for so you get what? the next level. In adaptation, or well, that might be different for you. Yeah, I have expansion, engineering, warfare, economics. Which one's green? Expansion. Yeah, so go to expansion, and I always choose industrial expansion or adaptation or whatever it is first. It's probably wrong. Like, it works... But there's there's probably someone who watched this video and go, there's a thousand times better research to do first than that, but I don't care. So okay, uh, so I have capital investment and planetary and and hench and hedgement. Oh bloody hell! Um. So something is wrong with this. Right? Yeah. I'm just should, clicking should on I research. For, no, I won't go for economics. And engineering. 
Uh, no, no, I will go for expansion. I will go with the planetary enhancement. Then. Xeno commerce is also very important down at the blue one. Xeno, I have Xeno farms, colonial hospitals. Planetary specialization or industrial specialization? It doesn't matter. I will go with this one. May God be with me. May God be with you. Probably not. What should I build in the shipyard? Should I start with a settler? Uh, your colony ship, yeah, probably. Yeah, a set, a set, a settler, right? Pretty much. Colonize planets. Build or buy? Build, build. Okay. Turn. Right, I've already done all my research, so this shouldn't take long. And you're gonna go over here. Yeah, Felix, you cannot see the other players either, right? No, I so can't. I guess it, it's a It must be because the, uh, the Thalons are from a parallel dimension. So they must have. Yeah, as I said, I guess it's a faction trait. Why, I said, uh, why Tom can do that. Yeah, he tricked us, so he can kill us. Well, I simply don't care because I have machines! Yeah, he is the rise of the machines, quite literally. Anyone, um,. Play Mass Effect, you know the gas. That's basically what he is. Well, I I would have more compared it to the Zylons from Battlestar Galactica. That's what they look like, but to be but to be more fair in what they are, because they <coughs> they were made by the Iconians to improve the standard of life, and then they they rebelled. N1 took control, and they took over Iconia, and the Iconian refuge was forced to leave and found I new see. Iconia. Only they're not like the Quarians and they don't have migrant fleets, they're just a bit... They're, they're really good ah, at that. Ah, the, uh, the Quarians. Ugh. The Quarians that I hate because I just find like they're pompous dicks. They are. The only exception is Tali, Zora, Naraya. And she... Well, no, I'm not going to say that. There might be someone who hasn't played it and I don't want to spoil it. Exactly. Um, more Felix. By the way, when I you do. click on Diplomacy, I get this planet. What the hell is wrong with it? That, that is your planet. Okay, and... Because you're the only one of you that you've met. <laughs> so it should say... How, what like, do I do? I report my ass off? <laughs> you can't do anything there, because you haven't met anyone. You haven't met any mages or any miners. Oh, so there, uh, when I colonize a planet, there will be other civilizations on that planet that I have to... Uh, no. To live. Oh. no. Right. When when you meet another player, the home planet will appear in here. Or if you meet an AI or a minor faction, you will get it displayed here, so you can talk to them and demand stuff. Okay. What's up with the govern? I mean, I can change that, you know, from manufacturing. Oh yes, govern. So basically, it's how much of the your entire entire spending is going into manufacturing research money. Uh, if whether it's going into military manufacturing or social manufacturing. So military is towards ships, social is towards ground improvements. I haven't messed around with this because it was in the old game and in the old game I just put everything into socialist production for a while. But things seem to build much more quickly in this than they did in 2, so I don't bother. It's my turn. Oh, first anomaly survey. Nice, I found well, something. Well, at the moment the game strongly uh, reminds me of Civilization V just in space. It's... <clears throat> It's very, very similar to two was, basically. The game makes me think to. Uh, but it's it's a very, classic, very nice. Classic uh, Heroes of Might and Magic. Never played Heroes of Might and Magic. You haven't? No, I've never done it. Oh, uh, please. I should have bought that Heroes of Might and Magic bundle on the humble bundle. Shouldn't I? Oh, <sighs> the, the the Drengi and the Terrans and the old Terrans are like right next to each other. They're gonna have a war. <laughs> Dude, how do you know? Because it's my faction trait, I can just see everyone. Poor you. You're like in the middle of nowhere, as well as Felix is. Thanks and God! <laughs> Iconia is above you two, in like a triangle formation. I'm in the middle of nowhere, Felix, did you hear that? He's in the middle of nowhere. I'm like in the paradise. Well, my planet is paradise. Paradise, paradise. So, Gio, you have many qualities, but your singing is not a good one. That's why <laughs> I like to sing. I improve it. That he can annoy everybody. Well, 
If you wanna be in a sky call with a star, you're gonna take it. You're gonna have to take it. it was, I wasn't aware I was in a sky call with a star. <laughs> well, nobody is. Says it all, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, that's done. I think we're good. Kebab Lord. Kebab you Lord. really make me hungry. I know. I have a pie in the oven, actually. I should probably go get it. One well, basic <laughs> factor is being completed. And Wait, that will. How? Do you mean, how? I have three factories completed. Yeah. I bought two. You bought two, and then that would increase your production, so the other one would be built more quickly. Oh. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. dun. Yeah. Genius. Genius. So after you build the factories, what else do you build? Uh, research. How many? Uh, just go for the magic number of three, maybe. And then, uh, you probably haven't got market research, have you? Free market. I, you I have. Yes, it. yes. Build, build some of them, like two, maybe. Some of them, like two. Okay, but I have this wasteland. What, what does that give you? What can I? I'll tell you in a second. Let me finish my turn. Let's be. Treasury plus 46, debris field. Well, I've got an ascension crystal right next to me. <laughs> this ships move so slow. This is space, Gandan. Eh? It is space, and he's going at light speed. Well, he's going up hyperdrive. Yeah. Doesn't look like light speed to me. It's hyperdrive, uh, which is a human <coughs> invention, and it's the most basic form of light speed travel, of FTL travel. So, should I build first the laboratory of. The market. Uh, depends what you're trying to do. If you're trying to go for a technology thing, to research. If you're trying to go for money, and your people are money oriented, then. Oh, greedy bastards! You are greedy bastards. You value nothing but wealth. You would sell your grandma. Hear that, Felix? Hmm. <laughs> did you hear that? Yes, I did. Totally me. <laughs> you would sell your grandma for a quick book. Uh -huh. If Felix was my grandma, yeah. I'll oh, give I it found for a free. black hole. Give him for free. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wanted to ask something. That's about that land. So, wasteland. This desolate area is barely usable and perfect for blowing things up. So, what should I build here? What What's the bonuses it gives? It doesn't does, say. Does it not give any bonuses? Oh, plus two to me. Oh, if I click on it, it gives me bonuses. Um, You're telling yes. me now. I asked you ages ago. Plus two to military, so I should build oh. a shipyard. Is it my turn? Now is... Uh... <gasps> now, why are you talking behind my back? What? I'm not. Somebody used the... Uh... Felix was using text chat to talk to Laura, I assume. <gasps> Felix! First anomaly survey! Maybe I should have gone for that part. By the way, planets appear in stars at about a distance of three. So if you've surveyed three tiles around a planet, then you're probably not going to find any more planets. So, now is the question, how can I build a starbase? You build a construction ship, you move it to where you want to construct a starbase, and then you click uh, Command Construct Starbase. Ah, uh, there it is. Are you trying to mine? Durantium. Durantium can be used to build enhanced kinetic and armor systems, used to increase the... So, durability. do I need to build the starbase directly above the resource, or...? No, or uh, within its zone of influence. Yeah, one tile. What think. what is its one tile? Okay. It was just a presumption, Felix. But I suppose I'm right. Like when you click on the constructor ship, there should be like a white ring around it, and that's its range. That's when you build the starbase. That'll be its range. So how do I get money? Uh, to get money, you should build market centers, or free markets. No, many, many. Or whatever you're doing. Uh, there, is, there is also trade, there is tourism, 
which just comes at later research. But most of all, you want to be basically doing the e economy. Yeah. Research. Do I see that? Do I see then something when uh, the Durantium is mined? Uh, next turn, you will. <coughs> next turn. Okay. So I don't see now. Have you built the mining module on it? What? How? What is a mining module? <laughs> on the star base. That you have to build modules depending on what you want them to do, and to mine they need a mining module. <laughs> ah, there is available modules. Good. So, um, but to build more modules, you have to often bring another construction ship to it. Okay, I understand. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to ask. Are there planets that give uh, give more um, income? Yes, there are planets that have specific bonuses like plus 50% gross income or plus 20% tourism or... Uh, there's also research planets, production planets, military planets, but planets that have negative effects, planets that have good effects to food. So yeah, that's... Uh... So, uh, what do I, how do I use the artifacts or something? Uh, what do you mean, the, the anomalies? I simply collect them and... Uh. Yeah, you collect them and it'll give you a bonus, basically. Uh -huh. It'll give you either more money, it'll add to your ship's stats. Class 12 planet! That's a bit good. Yeah, colonize that. That'll be a good first colony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a yeah, bit spread yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So, um... The, the survey ship builds a station. I mean, uh, star bases. No, the constructor ship builds star bases. The survey ship is purely there. Do I there have a constructor just... ship? Uh, you have to build one at your shipyard. Damn. Damn. Which I'm guessing is currently building a colony ship. Yeah. Yeah, so I suppose this is all for now. So I end my turn. And with this, I end my turn. But I suppose I can buy this. Oh my, too expensive. But wait, I have uh, only three types of ships. Seeker, Settler, Possibility engi Engine. Does one of them have... Oh, build star bases and ship. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Are these my ships I built? Oh no, they're not. I don't have them yet. They're too good. So would it be profitable to build an engine? Ah, oh, first to rent your mine. Yeah, there you go, you got it. Durantium is used for armor and kinetic weapon research. And I also have my first Illyrium mine, okay. Yeah, because there will have been Illyrium within its old of influence. I see. Yes, Cloud, nice. Come on, Felix. Okay, now I have two Torrentium mines and one... Two more I've minutes until the video ends! <laughs> yeah, I don't care. You better do, baby! I focus more, more on learning the game. Learn it when it's not your turn. <gasps> nice, the, the, the Seekers have a huge range. I mean, yeah, a huge they, they are scouts, that's, that's all they are. Oh, they, they, they they go fast. They see far, and the views. And actually, nature. actually, the the settler is way much more luckier than the seeker because I found a class twelve planet with the with the settler, and I found nothing with the seeker. I mean, I found a big red star, but that's it. That star is gonna die. Am I right? Oh, uh, by the way, I does don't, stars I don't die think here? stars die. They in, in Galactic Civilizations 2, you could build a space station called a Terra Star, and that would blow up a star, causing the entire star system to become rubble. Nice. But I don't think that's in this one, at least not yet. I think they've talked about it in a... I think they talked about it in a dev stream about maybe adding them, but I think they decided against it. Wait, there... I... Uh... I went to uh, ide ideology. Yes. So <laughs> there are three types. Yes, benevolent, there is pragmatic. benevolent, which is good. Pragmatic, which is like, eh, I'll, I'll do the, the semi-nice thing that benefits me. And malevolent, which is like, evil. 
Oh, Felix, did you hear Shut that? Shut the door. Yeah, I did, and I like it. Okay, I, I think I'll go for pragmatic because there's not. I always go for the nice one because I'm you always, get I'm also a free nice. colony. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the video is gonna end here, guys. So uh, thank you a lot for watching. But stay with us. There will be more videos on the way, and we will have more fun. And hopefully, at some point, we will uh, actually fight against Phoenix and kill him. And understand the game. And understand the game better. Rise of the machines. Now, thank you for watching. Take care of you. Love you. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Bye.